And today I wanna to show you something that you should do on your vehicle um, regularly. Check your owner's manual for this, but it's something so simple. It takes just a few minutes. It's not that expensive, but it's so often overlooked. It's replacing the cabin air filter in your vehicle. I haven't done it in a while in the truck, so I'm gonna show you how to do that on my 2015 Ford F-150. Um, real easy to do. It only takes probably 10 minutes, if that. You can pick up your filter at your local auto parts store or order it online. I usually order mine online. It comes to the house. I don't have to go anywhere to get it. They're not real expensive, um, depending on your vehicle and the size of filter that you need. But if you were to take your vehicle into a shop or a dealership, they could charge you 50 bucks or more to have this done. And it is so easy to do. The only thing you need to do is buy the part and the rest of it is up to you. It can be a little intimidating because you have to take your dash apart um, to some extent to get to where the filter is, but it's really not that big of a deal and anybody can do this. You're not gonna need many tools for this. You just need a socket and a driver, either a ratchet or something like this, a seven millimeter, and you need a trim tool, something like this. It's designed to get under those pieces of trim and pop them free without damaging them. They're only held in there with these cheap, brittle clips that oftentimes you break if you try to use something other than a trim tool like a screwdriver or something like that. You could damage the trim piece itself or the clip and then it'll never go back on right. Real simple, these two tools, it's all you need. Be good to go. In the case of my truck, the cabin air filter is located behind this area right here. You wanna be mindful because you have an airbag here of course, your often called glove box right here. It's probably filled with a whole bunch of stuff. Get all that out of there. Um, give yourself some room and go ahead and open up the glove box. What the cabin air filter does, it actually filters the air that comes into the, into the cab, into the compartment um, that goes through your, your air conditioning and, and heater and all that. So it's really important that you do change these filters often. Um, just check your owner's manual. First thing I wanna show you is that piece right there. Um, that needs to come off. Basically, you shift it to the other um, area here and the hole is larger and it'll slide out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that out like this and then it's out. Um, that's the mechanism to slow the glove box down when you open it so it doesn't just drop. Next thing you're gonna do is right here, this kind of pushes in, you can see, and then it releases the glove compartment and then it just fell. You wanna do this one and then there's one on the other side. Oh, God. Be careful because if you release one side, um, the other may drop, so just be mindful of that. So we're gonna do one here, and this side, and then the glove box goes down and out of your way. Start removing some of this dash. This piece right here just kind of pulls out. The next step is this fake uh, wood grain paneling that needs to be popped off. This is where you use your trim tool. Basically, you take the tool, kind of work it underneath, and then pry up, and you'll hear it pop. Just be very careful. And this should come out. Okay, move that out of the way or put it with the rest of the parts. Now you've got the final trim piece here and there are two screws or bolts that you need to remove. That's where you cut your seven millimeter socket and undo. You can visibly see four, but you only need to do the two that are more outside. Don't lose these. He's in a safe place, and the cup holder makes a good place to hold your, your screws. And then finally, this whole piece will pull out. It is popped in place, so be careful. And also, you have an electrical wire that works the, uh, the switch here, works the light in the glove compartment. So you wanna be mindful of that wire there, don't pull too hard.
and then I just turn this and set this out of the way. All right, the next thing you can see back here, there's this honeycomb plastic uh, piece of plastic or cover there. Behind that is the cabin air filter. There are two tabs holding that in place on either side. You wanna kind of pull them back a little bit, just lightly clipped, and it should release. Just the one on the right and the one on the left, and then you can see it, it kind of pulls down and away. And there's your cabin air filter. This is probably gonna be gross. We're gonna go ahead and pull that out. And that's absolutely disgusting. To give you, to give you an idea, that's the new one. Be mindful though of these uh, filters. They do have an airflow directional indicator. You can see those arrows there. And on the original, it's a little faded. You can see, tells you which way the air is supposed to be flowing through the filter. Now we're just going to put everything back in place in the reverse order. So in goes the filter. Push it all the way to the back like that. Then put that honeycomb cover. You'd see there's tabs on the bottom of it, kind of going to these slots here. And it'll pop in place. You hear it click, looks good. And now put your trim back together. Just do everything in the reverse order. You've got this piece first. Remember it was pressed in with clips, so you want to make sure it pops back in place. You'll hear it. Or not. There it goes. Now put your bolts in or screws, whatever you want to call them. Now these are plastic parts, so just need to be snug. Nothing crazy. I know you're excited about doing this and getting it done. But don't, don't muscle it too much or you'll break the plastic and you'll really be upset. Okay in place. The uh, decorative fake wood, again with clips, give it a push. And then this thing here, I don't even know what that's for, it just kind of pops in place. And you'll feel it kind of press in and secure itself. Okay, now you wanna bring your glove box up. Don't forget about this. Make sure this is in line so it goes back into that uh, little hole there in the side of the pocket. And then you have your bumpers. You wanna push them in slightly, very gently, just enough to clear. And then lock that tab in place. You'll hear it pop and then you're done. I like to give this a test, make sure I've got it put in there properly. Just release it, make sure it close, uh, opens smoothly, and it does. Perfect, now you can throw all your junk back in there and you're good to go. And you're done, you just replaced the cabin air filter. It's gonna be uh, much cleaner air going into your cabin now. Um, all there is to it, only took a few minutes, real simple tools. It's really easy, something you should definitely do. Check your owner's manual, um, see if your vehicle has a cabin air filter and get that thing changed up. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, please drop me a thumb, I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm the capable gentleman, always showing you ways to go from dirty to dapper and to encourage you to never stop learning. Until next time, be kind everyone. See you next week.